So one uh, proven methodology uh, to discover classes that we need is to use a method of class responsibility and collaboration cards. So imagine that uh, these classes in the airline reservation system we have not discovered formally yet. And so we go over the functional specification and we uh, have a design meeting where a lot of people can contribute their ideas, taking turns and uh, specifying um, what they think the classes should be. So every time if we discover a new, uh, the need, possible need for a new class, okay, so starting with some obvious concepts. So we take, uh, we take uh, an index card, uh, the card, uh, the, basically the paper card that looks like an index card, and we write the name of the class uh, as a class name on the card. Then, uh, we, because we want to focus on this idea, uh, we need to be able to describe what are the responsibilities of this class. Okay, so for instance, uh, the flight uh, scheduled flight uh, concept uh, is based on uh, information about uh, the departure, the arrival times, uh, the type of aircraft uh, use. Um, uh, other attributes of this flight. So basically the flight uh, is responsible for providing all of this information. That's an example of capturing some responsibilities. So typically part of the responsibilities could be what data attributes it's supposed to have and what kind of operations are available uh, for this class. Now, largely speaking, uh, the, the recorded responsibilities for newly discovered class eventually become a list of operations, also known as class behavior. But of course, it also contributes to the set of the data attributes. So that's actually a combination of both. Now that we begin to discover our classes, or we, we haven't made the co complete decision yet, but we now begin to discover certain classes that we definitely want to have in the system, but we don't have yet these relationships, right? So we, we're just focusing on concept and we say, yes, this looks like a useful concept right here. So maybe this one also is, uh, is, uh, is a useful concept. But we don't have identified these relationships, so, right? So we're just focusing on individual classes uh, in the form of these index cards that we call class responsibility uh, and collaboration. And then to be able to discover relationships between classes, their associations, um, aggregation of classes, uh, inheritance relationships. Uh, so as we discover these, uh, these uh, uh, concepts, we can now focus on collaborations. And so if this is uh, the, the class um, uh, CRC card uh, for the flight object right here, so we have flight written right here. So then we may have um, the, uh, the card also created for the schedule with its own responsibilities and set of data attributes. And uh, if we think that they're somehow associated and somehow need to be able to collaborate at runtime, we basically put these two cards to these two uh, index cards right next to each other. So the schedule class will be right here with its own set of responsibilities. And we put them next to each other and we discuss their collaborations. And we may just want to be able to write down that class flight collaborates with the schedule, whereas class schedule collaborates with class flight, right? So we want to be able to cap capture this information. And uh, of course, uh, as we move along, as now we begin to uh, discuss collaboration between classes, any kind of collaboration, any type of relationship that the class may know about each other existence or one class may be responsible for creation of another class and uh, similar, uh, similar ideas, any type of collaboration between classes. Uh, we may also dis discover the data attributes that we need to have inside these classes. So this is an idea just to, just to focus uh, on the fact that uh, as we don't have this yet, right? We don't have this yet, but we start with functional specification and we can organize this as like a library card 
for each concept that we think may um, uh, materialize in the actual class uh, in our system. And some of these will be pretty obvious, but some of them may be just basically never materialize into class, but be become a set of data attributes um, inside uh, uh, already existing class. So there could be uh, these types of uh, uh, relationships and uh, collaborations. So what does uh, CRC card represent formally? Um, they they represent objects and objects of course in order to be able to create these objects we need to have classes and software so uh, objects can be something that uh, we can do uh, do uh, different operations with right so we can do things with a phone with the tv set with the tv remote control uh, we can do things with the printer so it's kind of like object uh, object-based approach to um, do tasks within the system and class um, uh, is the structure the structure description uh, which can be formally expressed in software and becomes a blueprint for uh, creating these objects uh, at runtime so as we discuss these uh, CRC cards uh, the uh, typically, they're used at the design meeting or at the series of meetings. Um, and uh, the, uh, the part of the activity in, at such meeting is that everybody sort of like takes the stage and takes a turn at the microphone to speak and express their ideas and uh, contribute to the discovery of classes, right? So it's just basically stems from actual people uh, meeting together and discussing this and brain brainstorming what should be uh, the set of classes in our system. Of course, as we discover, we specify what the class is responsible for. It's just absolutely fundamental um, idea about um, the solidifying understanding of a class just answer this simple question what this class is responsible for and just write it down it could be just a um, couple of sentences and for more complicated objects it can be uh, maybe a couple of paragraphs but keep it uh, brief as brief as possible but capture a set of responsibilities uh, for example again the ticket sale uh, class is responsible for keeping track of ticketing agent uh, uh, the customer and the ticket reservation um, uh, as a as an object uh, that represents an instance of an actual ticket sale so so something of this nature basically describing the purpose of the object and what kind of data attributes it retains what it's responsible for in terms of providing the um, the operations and finally as we discover as we discussed already as we discover classes so we want to have this class and this class and this class and we find them pretty useful but we don't have these relationship yet so through collaboration which basically oftentimes collaboration originates that you have one card representing one object and another card rep representing another object and you it, you discuss the interaction between the two and you sort of like put them close to each other and uh, as part of this discussion you you just say that the, those objects collaborate between each other and so we begin to uh, 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 capture those things and of course this is foundation for future uh, UML uh, use case detail UML use case descriptions uh, but at the same time it also uh, a, a sort of leads to discovery of the actual relationship between the classes